always Alex here from WPEagle.com. Now in this video, I just wanted to quickly talk about security when it comes to WordPress, because I'm often asked by clients, often potential clients at the time, and they say, hey, I've had another web developer come in and they've said that WordPress is really insecure and I shouldn't use it. So what I say to those people is, of course it's secure, as long as you keep it secure. No website software is gonna be secure, whether it be bespoke, custom, um, or open source like WordPress basically because there's hackers out there and if they want to get into your website, they will. Now the thing with WordPress is that it's really popular. In fact, it powers you know over 20% of the internet. And now this in turn makes it a target to hackers and bot people and all those horrible other people out there trying to get in. Because obviously there's a lot of websites out there to find and you, if you keep looking for them, you're probably going to find an insecure one. WordPress has got some great security as long as you keep it up to date. And that brings me nicely on to my tips in terms of keeping your WordPress website secure and what you need to do to make sure that you don't get hacked. So number one is to make sure that you update everything regularly. Now, this is where the biggest problem comes in um, because plugins and the core and themes can go out of date. And what this means is generally that there's been some security patches applied to them and obviously you need to install those security patches to make sure that you don't get exploited. So you need to yeah, make sure that your plugins and uh, WordPress are kept up to date. And this is quite easy to do via the WordPress dashboard. My second tip is to delete anything that you're not using within WordPress. So if you've got an old plugin or theme or anything like that that you're not using, then just delete it because it's sitting there, it could go out of date, and it also obviously creates a bit of a security risk. My third tip is passwords. Make sure that you use very strong passwords if it's all possible. I'm, I know they're hard to remember, but they will save you in the long run. If you can't think of a secure password, just do a Google for strong password generator or something like that, and there'll be a tool that will come up with something really strong that no one will ever be able to hack in a million years. My next tip is to do with the admins and the user accounts that you have on your WordPress site. Again, like uh, redundant plugins or files that you're not using, delete any users, especially admin users that you've got that aren't being used anymore, because again, that's a way into your website that you wanna eliminate. Final tip is good old backups. Now, if you've got a good host like TSO Host, who I recommend a lot in my videos, they'll take backups for you automatically every day, sometimes more than once a day. So, you know, you can sleep sound at night knowing that they've taken care of it. If you don't have a host that does automatic backups, then you're gonna to need to install a plugin, of which there are many, just do a search for WordPress backup plugin or something like that. And yeah, run that regularly and make sure that you've got everything backed up nicely so that if you know, you do have a security breach and someone breaks all your website, you can easily get it back if you need to. I hope that video was useful and I hope your WordPress sites are nice and secure. They should be now. If you've got any questions or comments on this, then please leave them below. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and like the video by clicking the button at the bottom down there. And I'll see you soon.